Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, we hope that you'll return tomorrow. It is six o'clock on the dot. Mr. Peter is still hard at work on this Monday. Um, so I cooked up a little bit of something for dinner and hopefully I'll be out soon. Well, by cooking something for dinner, I made buffalo cauliflower. That's the only thing I made. I'm gonna dip some tomatoes in the ranch. And then we have leftover pizza. I already had a little bit of mine and I took that bite. Um, I was gonna wait for Peter, but he says it might still be a little while. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna start eating or not yet. Um, do you, ew, do you wanna go outside? <laughs> you do? Hey everybody, I'm done working. Did you say I was working late? Yeah. Work stonk today. Like, case of the Mondays in terms of infinity. <laughs> I always get so scared because Eve gets so pumped and I go to grab this and I feel like she's gonna accidentally like choke herself. But we're gonna take Eve outside. I'm so excited because today's, today's Marvel movie is the one mo Marvel movie I haven't seen that I've been the most excited for seeing. Avengers Age of All Time. All right, because of my really crazy late backwards looking day on Monday, um, my brain is like mashed potatoes right now. So we're gonna watch, Sarah just said we should watch, she's folding laundry, we should watch Avengers Age of Ultron now and then maybe do something a little later, even though it's gonna be later, but maybe we can do something fun later rather than like sleepily watching a movie before the end of the night. Um, so we're gonna watch Avengers Age of Ultron right now. I miss Tony Stark. Oh, there he is. This one I think is like Tony Stark's like faces his darkness in this one, I think, oh, a lot. What just occurred? The biggest curveball in any movie. The quoting of a Pinocchio song in a Marvel Avengers movie. By the bad guy. Yeah. I got was, no strings on he me. Sa he said the first line and I finished it and then it continued. And then Pinocchio's voice. That's that's good. That's you know? good. <laughs> we just took a little break from the movie and I just need to document this that I did laundry and I folded it in the same day. And you had some design work today. And I did design work today. And I did my little routine in the morning. I still hope to do yoga tonight. Getting crazy. But not every day. I just have to make sure I put the laundry away. Four loads. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Again. It's your girl. I just watched an entire season of her. Judy from Dead to Me. I love that actress. She's also a new girl. She's also in Scooby-Doo, which is the most also important one. Scooby-Doo. Okay, this Avengers is extra long and extra good and extra awesome. Do you agree? Yes. She says yes. This is the one I was really hoping, I couldn't wait to get to. Now let's skip to Endgame. Just kidding. Hey guys. <laughs> Best friends. <laughs> That's what we do all day, every day. She <gasps> loves me. <gasps> get him. Um... not so sure. I enjoyed that movie. Um, what else do I have to say about it? What's that girl called? Scarlet Witch? Scarlet Witch. She's intense. She's secretly the most powerful Avenger there is. More than Captain Marvel? No. Honestly, I think they could probably... No. <laughs> um, that was a good one. I didn't even know that movie existed. Like, I knew of, like, Avengers, and then I knew of the last ones that we I just saw. I skip to Civil War. We have Ant-Man next. Um, is that Civil War? Then Civil War. Then Black Panther. And then what, Ant-Man and the Wasp? I think that that movie has no correlation to like the... I think the it does. I think it's going to surprise us. Um, so yeah, that was good. I have one little work thing to wrap up just because I want to get it done before tomorrow. And I think with that statement, I can say that I officially feel like myself again. Yeah. <laughs> I have been. I have been feeling more me 
oh. both mentally and physically. Um, but today, even though it was like a tough Monday, it was. Today stunk. It was, wise. yeah. But like, I feel like it kind of, like it was like a reboot for me. Why right. didn't you watch Tangled? I just was turning on the TV. So, it's what, 10, 15 at night? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 10 15? Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna go for a run. I am going back to Bettina Ray's chat. Chal not challenge. I've been saying challenge so much in these vlogs. Bettina Ray's channel on YouTube. So, her YouTube channel is really great because it focuses on meditation and yoga and just mindful practices or even tips and tricks for going through infertility, going through um, trying to conceive pregnancy and motherhood. So it's the whole spectrum, which is really cool. Um, I did a lot of her videos prepping for our frozen embryo transfer this time around and it really, really helped me. Um, but to be honest, I really haven't been active since. Um, after the transfer, you want to, you know, be restful and right at the beginning. Um, I mean, I admit a lot of it has to do with um, my own mind and me just being a nervous Nancy through this whole process. And so, especially after we heard I had a blood clot, I, I want to say it was at eight weeks, we found that I had a small blood clot. Um, I really did not want to take any chances with activity. Um, for those of you who don't know, we lost our first baby. Um, we refer to them as sweet pea uh, to a very large blood clot and basically just took over um, and it was just too much for the baby. And so hearing that I had another blood clot, of course I was like just in protective mode. Um, and so ever since then, like because I've been very tired and nauseous and um, I mean, I think more so like just unmotivated in my pregnancy. I haven't found the time to um, to do such practices such as these. And now that I am feeling more like myself, I really want to get back into that. I am not someone who runs like Peter. I am someone who I like to feel good. I mean, like we all like to feel good. Um, but I think we've been doing a good job at fueling me and making sure I have enough water and enough sleep. And now it's time to um, to just make myself as strong um, and prepared for labor, but also for a baby. I really wanna focus um, on upper body strength. I used to be really strong. Like I babysat a ton, so I was carrying kids a ton. I was in the color guard in the marching band, which is the flags. And so I had really great upper body strength and I feel like I've kind of, um, I don't know, lost that. And I think that I'm ready now and I feel confident enough to kind of start with this yoga practice as, um, as much as possible and maybe add in some other things, but just slowly and listen to my body and just feel even better every day so that I feel super prepared when our little baby does come and so I'm excited and I also I don't know I'm like I haven't really had I don't want to say a hobby but just something that I do um, just for me and so I'm excited to find new yoga videos and to just feel confident in my body I'm still very much so battling with the anxiety of pregnancy after loss and just trusting all of the twinges and pulls and things that are happening right now. Um, but I think that this will really help me tune into my body and I'm excited. I feel like this is what I need. Back again, here all good old Park Ave, but nighttime and empty. Do not think I was gonna run today didn't drink enough water but I will say for any of my running friends or anybody who's aspiring to be a runner and you're gonna think Peter what on why on earth are you running he took one day off from that challenge now I'm not saying go out and do four miles because of I did four miles but 
there is um, good I don't even, research. I don't know. There's people recording that they've got great experience that it's actually good to help your muscles and your body recover and bounce back from such a long run, like a marathon, a half marathon, a 5K, whatever you were training for, your big day event, that it could help you after your event to go out for a jog, to loose those muscles, keep your body limber so they don't stiffen up so much. So it's actually not good to say, train a year for a marathon, run your marathon, and then don't run again for two weeks. Not good. Now, it's not one day after a race, it's not two weeks after a race. Somewhere in between, every, every, it's different for everybody, but to go out and do like a post-race shakeout, like one mile, two miles, whatever you feel comfortable doing, is good for the body. I feel pretty good. Um, just real thirsty, but time ahead. Finish this and head home. I'm back, I'm back. We were both active. We were both active. <laughs> I did not want to do the yoga and I know Peter did not want to run today. Um, we have a very close friend of ours, or like family of ours, going through some tough stuff right now. Eva's wanting my cereal. Um, and we decided if they can be super strong, we can be super strong and we'll all be strong together. Yeah. Today is May 11th. Classic Monday. I had a major case of the Mondays today, but it turned around. Today's quote is by Martin H. Fisher. Expect an early death. It will keep you busier. Ooh, kind of morbid, but I like it at the same time. All right, it is later, but I tried that tea. Hopefully I drank the tea and let it like, waited long enough to see if it's gonna work, but it is almost one in the morning already, and I'm not feeling too tired, but we're going to do our best. So thank you for following along with today's adventure. Hope your Monday was a good start to the week. And if it wasn't, hey, we're done with it. So let's trudge through the rest of the week and have some good times. Um, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>